still following this channel. Um, I haven't really been making videos because I, I don't do a whole lot on the command line lately. I, I still use Linux primarily and use the command line most of the time, but during my day-to-day -day, uh, I'm forced to use the computers that my you know work provides. I can't exactly use my computer. Um, now I still do all my note, notes and studying and that sort of thing. Uh, you know, on on my computer, but I I guess I haven't had a whole lot of time to explore different uh, command line utilities and things. One thing I, I did want to share with you and make a video about was how you can make some quick, easy command line flashcards. Uh, one of the things I do have to do is is try to learn topics, and sometimes there's not as many options for um, varying. You know, paths to learning those odd, those uh, concepts. Whereas today, you know, if you want to learn physics, you can go to uh, you know YouTube or Crash Course or um, Course RA or I think there's like a couple of other learning sites and things, and you could probably find a bunch of flashcards on Quizlet and stuff. But sometimes topics are things that are kind of personal to you, things that you want to remember, or they're just so specialized that not everybody is uh, learning them. And um, So what I ended up doing is, as I read books, like textbooks or review books, I've uh, kind of collected concepts that or questions that I want to remember, and I've stored them in a uh, file. And basically it's just a tab separated, could be comma separated, but sometimes you use commas in these uh, files, so I chose tabs, but I just uh, separate them initially by a title, which is the first column, then by a question, um, which is, you know, it can be either a question or a statement or a true or false or whatever you want it to be, and that's associated with an answer or a fact. And, uh, you know, have several different uh, several different uh, categories here, and basically what I did is I just stored all these in here, thinking, well, at a later date I can use some kind of flashcard system to learn these things. And indeed, you can import a file like this into something like Anki, uh, which is a very useful and nice program. Um, but I. It's, sometimes it's a little bit overcomplicated, and I like to stay on the command line. There's not, you know, Anki requires a GUI and requires some upkeep and things. And I just wanted a simple way to go through these questions. So basically, I just made a, a short little script, um, which uh, this is it right here. Just first uh, sets the file that I want to read from. You know, it defines a main function that uh, basically makes the internal field separator a tab character and then reads the various uh, columns, or reads a, a line, I should say, um, into this variable Q. And so it uses the shuff command, which is short for shuffle, and we'll kind of shuffle all of the lines of a file and if you supply a dash n one to that then instead of returning the entire file it will just return one random line of that file so we can use shuff dash n one of the file that we designated to get a random line out of that file and then read that into uh, the variable q and this dash a just makes it into a, an array and so then I use that array to spit out the category, the question, and the answer. And this uh, read underscore here basically just waits for user input before showing the answer. That way uh, I can 
you know, test my ability to answer the question before seeing the answer. And then it just loops through that main function uh, until I hit control C or stop the program. Um, so basically how that works is if I type in the absite command, which I just did, uh, it'll give me a category like pediatric surgery and it'll give me a question here. Uh, this is probably not the best example I don't, uh, because it's kind of a poorly written question, but uh, you can kind of cycle through these and uh, you know quiz yourself on things that you want to remember. And if you see typos um, or something that's wrong, you can kind of quickly jump into that file and and change it. So I think you know potentially I could go a lot further with this script, and maybe I will. Maybe I'll make further videos, you know, where I could specify that I want to study only a particular category, or that uh, maybe I want the user input to uh, you know supply something to the program, like whether or not that question was easy or hard or needs to be repeated. Um, that kind of sounds a little bit involved and kind of like trying to recreate Anki for the command line, which is maybe not an entirely bad idea, but also uh, maybe not something I have time for. <laughs> but uh, I thought this was quick and simple and effective, and I wanted to share it with you all, and uh, I hope that uh, somebody gained something out of it.